Now, when your younger brother is a celebrity sports superstar and you're uh, a talented guy who is best known for playing in a Major League Baseball game but not playing, you have to be one person, Larry Yount. Now, today we're going to be telling the strange but true story of the Moonlight Graham style career of Larry Yount. Now, uh, born Lawrence King Yount in Houston, uh, is the only pitcher in Major League Baseball history to be credited <coughs> with one pitching appearance without facing a batter. His only Major League appearance on September 15, 71, he left the game during his warm-up pitches due to injury. Is the older brother of Hall of Famer, of course, Robin Yount. Now, he went to Taft High School in Woodland Hills, California. It was a fifth-round draft pick in the 68th Major League Baseball draft. He impressed in the Carolina League in both 68 and 69, where he had a 2.25 ERA in that 69 season. And he was invited to spring training at the Major League Camp in 1771. After a strong stint with the Astros AAA affiliate in Oklahoma City, he was called up on September 2, 71. Before he could join the big league club, however, he had to serve a week-long stint in the military, which he later claimed tightened his elbow. Now, in that contest with the Astros trailing the Braves 4-1 in the Astrodome on September 15, 71, Yount was summoned to pitch the ninth inning. While warming up, however, Yount's elbow began to stiffen. I went to the mound and took a couple of tosses, he later said, but the elbow continued to hurt, so I came out. MLB rules state that any pitcher announced as being in the game must face at least one batter except in case of injury. Since he was announced, Yount was credited with having played that one game, even though he did not actually face a batter. Yount is one of 31 pitchers, including Hall of Fame batter Stan Musial, to pitch at least one game in the majors with zero innings pitched. That is, he did not retire a batter. In addition, Yount is the only pitcher in Major League Baseball history to be credited with zero batters face. Yount went back to the bench and back to the minors. In spring training in 72, he was one of the last players cut. Now, he continued to play in the Astros organization until the end of the 73 season. At the end of spring training 74, he was traded along with another minor leaguer to the Brewers for outfielder Wilbur Howard. He was briefly in camp with his younger brother Robin, who was trying to make the squad as a rookie, but was quickly sent back to the minors. The elder Yount retired after eight minor league seasons in 76, later become, becoming a successful real estate developer in Arizona. Now, Larry's son Austin Yount was drafted in the 12th round by the Dodgers in 2008. He had a solid year with the rookie league Ogden Raptors that campaign, batting 301. His average slipped to 257 with Ogden in 2009, however, and plummeted to 152 in 2010. In 2011, Austin played for the Winston-Salem Dash, a Class A affiliate in the White Sox organization, where he batted 214. He has not appeared on a pro baseball roster since. Now, Larry's nephew and Robin's son, Dustin Yount, played 10 years in the Orioles and Dodgers organizations and was a teammate of Austin's at Inland Empire in 2010, but never paid a, made a pass double-A ball. Now, he also had a uh, career batting average of 261. Now, the Baseball Project, a musical supergroup, included a song called Larry Yount under 2014, album third. Steve Wynn wrote the song about after a creator at the Baseball Hall of Fame mentioned Yount's story to the band. The song is based loosely on Yount's brief Major League career. Now, uh, more on his uh, very interesting career in baseball uh, is in Richard Tellis's book, Once Around the Basis, published by Triumph Books in Chicago, 1998. And it's a, it's a five-page recap from pages 279 to 284. So I, I think you should uh, uh, should uh, take a, check it out. Now, the idea about him not playing, he was a talented player, but like I said, sometimes uh, things, uh, things, go, uh, things go against you and there's nothing you can do really to, uh, to control it. Now, uh, fifth round draft pick of the, Aus uh, the Astros again on June 7th, 1968. And uh, a very, very interesting story to, to talk about in a regular season because Robin uh, was just uh, uh, true, true, true to roof when it came to his stats. But actually, in a, the minor league level, again, uh, he was, uh, wasn't too bad. His best campaign for a lot of people was 1970 uh, in Columbus 
of the double A uh, level, where he was 12 and 8 as part of the Houston uh, farm system. And uh, eventually uh, became mostly a starter in the minors. But uh, the, big, the big problem with him, uh, when he got to the Milwaukee system in 1975, Pretty well had a had a burnout. He uh, he went eight and sixteen that season, and it was uh, with Tedford Mines actually in Quebec, one of the best uh, Quebec minor league franchises of all time. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of Larry Yount. You might as well say uh, one of two major league baseball players in the family. It doesn't matter if you play one game or five thousand. You make the show. You got to be good. And I'm not discounting that because I never may have played major league baseball. I only had one game in senior ball and. You know, I, I treasure that as well. So that's the story of Larry Yount. If you like what you're doing here, we're baseball podcast. Let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. As we like to say, especially against the Rays, when it's Vladimir Guerrero hit for center field. If you saw that 455-foot home run yesterday, you must be a Blue Jay fan. Thanks for listening. Bye.